I still have a voice after a day of teaching, so I gathered up some stuff. It's time for a mailbag. The first item here is not from China at all. I recently put in an order uh, for a bunch of stuff from Mouser, and I still had a little while to go before free shipping. You know, it's all the stuff that's on here. So um, I just put a couple other things into the cart. Let's take a look at what they are. So four things here. Um, this one here is the easiest. Uh, this is a thermal pad. I thought it was actually a little bit bigger by the description. Uh, I didn't actually take out a ruler, take a look. But this was supposed to be for my tech projects, which are these guys. I might still use them, but as you can see, there's a little bit of a size difference there. Um, the thermal conductivity was super high, so I decided to grab it, but I should have checked the size. My mistake. But oh well. Not that big of a deal. Um, I could actually try it with other things. I have LEDs that are just about that size, which I can use. Um, regardless, I've got some other uh, thermal pads coming from China at some point, and it would be great to check the performance of a known quantity and compare it to the Chinese ones, see which ones are better. For the other ones of these, uh, however, uh, I'm going to have to zoom you guys in because they're going to be too small to see. So first one will be this one. This is a, oh, it's a pair of chippies. A pair, really? Huh, okay. Um, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that, but these are pick 16 f 628 a There's two of them. So I'll put the price on the screen here, how much I paid for these. Um, I'm just about ready to get started with pick. All I need is a little bit more time um, to learn it because I've got to learn it first. And then I will be going full steam ahead with these little guys. So that should be interesting. This guy here is the next one up. This one had double sensitive static caution stuff going on. There should be five of these. There are, and you won't be able to see what these are, but I can read it off for you. These are AT Tiny 85s. So these are absolutely uh, tiny chips. They actually have, I'm not sure if these come burnt with the bootloader, but there's a bootloader available for them so that they actually can do their own uh, USB functionality. And these are the chips that are on the DigiSparks. So the little, uh, tiny little board um, Arduinos. That's what, this, this is the chip that they use. So I'm pretty excited to have this in bare form because this was actually a little bit cheaper getting it from Mouser than from eBay considering I had other stuff I ordered it gave me free shipping. So that's interesting on its own. And then we have this guy. I think there's more than one thing in here though because I thought I ordered two things but no, this only says one. Well, we'll see what's in here. Okay. Uh, humidity indicator. Very interesting. Uh, bake parts if 60% not blue. Okay, it is blue. I'm going to leave this in the atmosphere here and see what happens with it later on. Oh no, there is only one row of stuff. So these are AT Tiny 85s as well. There's 10 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. But these are surface mount. So these are the exact same chips as these guys, except they are far smaller. And I really want to do some little tiny projects, and I'll need these little tiny microcontrollers for that. So that's pretty cool. Uh, this was sealed. I might put this in a uh, 
Ziploc bag or something. I don't know. I don't know how important it is to keep these things dry if I'm just going to be hand soldering them. But yeah, a little cache of microcontrollers. I hope you're going to be excited to see that in the future. Next one up is this one here, uh, which says computer accessories times three, uh, August 25th to October 8th. This one is from China, more of a traditional mailbag item. Oh yeah. Oh, it's like stuck. So these guys are supposed to be thermal pads, but but not really. You see, the thermal pads I, I showed you before, this guy here, it's kind of like a silicone matrix. But these guys here are supposed to be graphite or some sort of carbon matrix. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to take that layer off. I really don't know how these are supposed to work. There's got to be uh, clear plastic. Okay, it's clear plastic on that side. And it's adhesive on that side. What about on this side? In case you don't know, when you put two components together, um, a heat generating component onto a heat sink, um, the surfaces of the heat sink and the heat generating component are not perfectly flat. So you do need something to sort of carry the heat away. And that's what these things are supposed to do. I got three of these. They were kind of expensive, three bucks a pop, but they're supposed to be reusable. Yeah, that is straight up carbon. I'm not sure if you're supposed to actually peel them apart. Now it won't go back. So yeah, I don't know if it's just this side you peel off and then you put it over something and then this thin plastic will transfer heat. I don't know, but the point is I'm excited to try. Uh, I've actually got another type of thermal pad coming from China which is the more um, normal sort of silicone one. So I'm completely fine with ruining one of these in my trial runs. Sure seems like I'm ruining this by peeling it. That seems absolutely thin. So yeah, something like three bucks a pop. I've got a couple to play with. Uh, and also I think it'll be very interesting to do a comparison between the different thermal pads. So these guys, this guy, the other traditional type one that's coming from China, maybe some name brand ones. We will see. Be subscribed for that. Next one up is this one, Power Plugs Times 20. Um, and I think this is the one I got from AliExpress, uh, August 14th to September 30th, $14.75. Yeah, it's a little bit spendy. But I do have plans for this. Uh, in fact, some of the plans are in prototype mode over on that side of the bench. You can't see it. Ah, yes, this is exactly what I wanted. So I ordered a bunch of these last time, and they ended up being uh, colored. They were uh, re red and black, and also green and yellow and blue. I think it was one more color, green, yellow, blue. Yeah, not sure. But yeah, these are binding posts, four millimeter binding posts. They have uh, two nuts on them. They have a washer. They have this little tab to um, put your wires on. And they have a little sort of uh, a, a body here with a step. So this goes, you drill a hole, put this in the hole, drop this guy through, put this little um, shim here to keep it centered in the hole, washer, to support the shim and then a nut and that's your mechanical assembly and then you're supposed to kind of like this then you're supposed to use this tab here solder your wire onto this tab then you can slip that over the binding post on the bottom and use your second nut here to lock the wire down so 
that is very useful because now you can use this to uh, trap wires underneath and there is a four millimeter hole on the top that you can jam a banana plug through something like this. That's a banana plug and that goes on top. So you can make quick connections like that. You can even use both the banana and you can squish a um, wire into here. Very useful. Uh, there's supposed to be 20, but I think there's 40 in here. Two, four, six, eight, ten. That's ten of this. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yep, two. Four, six, eight, ten, and two, four, six, eight, ten. So these were as cheap as I could possibly find them on AliExpress, and I'm so glad to be restocked on them. Uh, for 14 bucks for uh, 20 pairs, that was actually pretty good. Don't forget that's uh, 14 bucks Canadian Copex. So yeah, I have enough for the projects I'm going to do in the near future. I uh, just hope that they're the same size as the ones I modeled after. Huh. Give me one moment. This here is the device I modeled and I just want to make sure that these holes here are the correct size for the little uh, shim I was showing you. Because they do vary. There's uh, I always thought there was only one manufacturer for these but it seems like there's a few manufacturers. So this hole, will it fit? No, this is a bit too big. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can drill these out before I redesign this. If I can't drill them out, then um, yeah, I'll just redesign it completely. But yeah, if you can figure out what the future project is, let me know in the comments. Penultimate item now. Um, this says CB board for Arduino or CB board Arduino times one. Um, yeah, this one, I'm not sure when I ordered it, if it's what I think it is just by the shape. I ordered it May 8th, but uh, yeah, it's dropped off my, my, my history, so I'm not sure. But if it is that, I paid $4.12. So May, and we're now in October. Um, not sure if this was that. I have to put a confirmation on the screen. But it is definitely something I was looking for. So this here, which is actually packed rather well. We only have a couple of pins that are bent. Um, this is an SD card module for an Arduino Uno. Uh, it has the Uno shield. It has little breadboarding area here so you can make your little circuits. It has on it a real-time clock chip. So this is not only, that's from a Deke Robot data logging shield. There we go, specifically a data logging shield. This will piggyback on the Uno. Uh, it'll use a couple of these pins. A couple of them will remain free and you can keep stacking different shields upwards, but yeah. Uh, data logging is something super interesting that you can get done with an Arduino and in fact for some applications where it's not crucial to have 100% reliability this could actually be the cheapest way to do data logging. So winter is coming I've had some outdoor plans uh, all summer which did not get done I was busy all summer um, this will be for winter planning uh, there's a few things I need to test over winter and I may do more long-term videos with long-term results using this guy here to data log those results. So let me know if you're interested in that in the comments below. Final package now. Uh, this one I ordered from Amazon. Um, usually I try to order these things long-term but I actually have a project that I want to film this weekend. And uh, yeah, I paid a little bit more, but not much more. 
to get this for that project. So uh, yeah, October 3rd ordered, got it on the 5th. I am a Prime subscriber. We have some screwdrivers. Well, simple electronics. You have a ton of screwdrivers. Why do you need more? Well, these are special. They're all coming out of the handles there. Actually, these are surprisingly robust feeling. Um, so, there is something I'm trying to do a teardown on and it has triangle screws, sort of like the, uh, I think Nintendo uses them, but anyway, those are like tamper-proof screws. Oh, these are super magnety. Wow. Um, and I have triangle bits for my Weeha little set, my Weera, Weeha, Weeha set. Uh, however, uh, they could not reach down into the hole I needed to reach down in. And so I had ordered these. So now uh, I can handle any size triangle. So this is uh, four mil. This is 3.5 mil. This is 2.5 mil. And this is three mil. And last size, two mil. So two to four millimeters. I should be able to get them all out now. Should be no problem. I think Gadget Reboot has a solution to oh, my fingers all uh, still filthy from before uh, gadget reboot has a solution to get the triangle screws out but even using his solution the bit i used for it wasn't long enough now i've got the proper things a lot of my family members come to me to fix their uh, problems and so if they've got triangle screws now i can un undo them so there's no problem there. So this was well worth the $15, um, especially if you guys like that video, which should release about a week after you see this video. And so this stuff makes up today's mailbag. Just a quick update. It's only been about 10 minutes and this thing has changed colors. I want to give a special thank you to my Patreon patrons. Um, I'm very sorry that I haven't been getting to a lot of videos lately, but now you're going to see it start to ramp up because I have the bigger project off my bench, uh, although I do have two more big projects upcoming. Um, I want to thank my viewers. Uh, if you love to, to see these videos, make sure you're subscribed. Uh, subscribing makes all the difference. And for those of you who just uh, watch the videos in silence, I still appreciate you. So thanks, everybody for watching.